Despite not playing most of the NBA season while being in the G League while also being injured, Jalen Harris certainly made his mark for Raptors fans near the end of the season with some great performances, which led us to believe he had a great future ahead of him for next season. But all of that came crashing down as Jalen Harris was banned from the NBA for one year for drug use. So in this video, we look at will Jalen Harris ever play for the Toronto Raptors again? Let's get into it. Welcome everybody to Amateur Sports, this is the channel where you get NBA content with a focus on the Toronto Raptors at least four days a week, that is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, this is your Monday episode, I'm sorry for missing the Saturday episode, you'll hear more about it later, but we are here today to talk about Jalen Harris, so if you like what you see from today's video, you want more of myself talking about the NBA and the Raptors in videos and content just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to show your support to the channel on a road to five thousand subscribers thank you guys so much for helping me get to four thousand but let's get into the content we have a bit of a different setup today same vibes just a bit of a different setup that you may need to get used to for a couple of months but here we are talking about jalen harris and i wasn't able to talk about this on saturday because i was away and i got sick so uh here we are we just took the weekend off and we're back at it but we do need to address this because this is some big news for the toronto raptors and people like myself who were so high on jalen harris at the end of of the season because Jalen Harris, you know, it was kind of sad that when we had so many guys injured, when we were kind of in that tank mode and we were playing a lot of the young guys, Jalen Harris was injured for pretty much all of that. We never really got to see what he could actually produce until the last little stretch at the end of the season where finally he came back from injury. And you know what? Game after game, I was thinking, okay, this guy looks good, but you know, that's just a couple of games. But then the next game he plays well again, then he plays well again, and he was continuing to play well. And there was a lot to like about this guy's game. He was turning into a bit of a sharpshooter from three. You could rely on him from three to hit his shots, whether that be off of a catch and shoot situation, but also in many times that he could actually create his own shooting opportunities from three point land, while also being able to slash to the rim, cut to the rim, finish with ease, get past defenders with ease, just take it to the rack. And there was a lot of things to like about his game. As a 59th overall pick, I wasn't holding too high of hopes for this player, but he surprised me, and it looked like he was a guy who could turn into a good rotational piece for next season, and at the very least, he would be very good for the Raptors 905 next season, but I felt like he, with his great arsenal talent, would have a very good role in this Raptors as kind of the 11th or 12th man. He's a different type of player that maybe we don't have, that shooting guard who's a little bit taller, who can create his own shot, you can rely on him to get a bucket. That would have, I think, been something we would have really used over the course of next season. Now, I know we had those draft picks coming in, so there'd be some competition, but I really felt like there were good signs about this player despite the very limited sample size. And that was all capped off by that amazing 31-point night against the Dallas Mavericks in his hometown, where it was said he probably wasn't supposed to play because he was injured, but he said to the Raptors training staff, there was nothing that was going to stop him from playing in that game in his hometown against his childhood team the Dallas Mavericks. So what I was thinking in this scenario here, when I heard about Jalen Harris getting banned, I was actually out and I all of a sudden got hit by this sham bomb. Shams drops the news that Jalen Harris has been banned from the league for a year and he has to wait a year before he can apply to get back into the league where the Raptors would have the rights to bring him back because his current contract is nullified. So he is not going to be making any money over the course of this season. Now, my first thought for drug use was I thought PEDs. And I thought especially because he had all of those injuries and I thought especially because of, let's say that game where he maybe wasn't supposed to play, my thoughts initially drifted towards performance enhancing drugs and maybe something of that nature. And then it all of a sudden transitioned to, well, actually, it wasn't performance enhancing drugs. It was other use. It was recreational use. So I was thinking, okay, maybe is it weed? Because are we really going to deny a guy a year in the NBA because of weed? But then I heard it was bigger than that and it was worse than that. I'm not going to go into specifics about the things he could have used here, but Jalen Harris was caught using one of these harder drugs and that should be a two year suspension, but because he's on his road, rookie deal. He's only played in the league for one season. They only gave him that one year suspension before he can come back into the league, well, before he can apply to come back into the league. And I just think that this is a pretty bad look for Jalen Harris, and this is a pretty bad look for the Toronto Raptors. And, and, and you know what? If Jalen Harris, like, if he needs his help, then I really hope he gets it. I really hope that there are people who can help him with this situation, because we really don't know anything about it. All the NBA PA is allowed to tell us is 
this player, Jalen Harris, got suspended for this long. That is all we are allowed to know. So I'm just speculating here. But if he needs help, I hope he gets it. I hope there are people who can help him. But this is a bad look for Jalen Harris. This is a very bad look for Jalen Harris, not to mention a very bad look for the Toronto Raptors. This is the second time in two years that a player coming off of a good rookie season has been in the news for very wrong reasons. I don't need to dive into the one from last season, but you know, Terrence Davis had that scandal that significantly affected the offseason. This one, Jalen Harris actually got suspended, whereas Terrence Davis didn't get anything, but there was things lingering about that. Jalen Harris actually is going to get a year here out of the NBA, and the Raptors were probably looking at him like maybe somebody that they could use for their future, maybe not as a key player, but somebody that they could use. And Jalen Harris for himself, you know, he didn't play a ton of games here for the Raptors a small sample size where he produced some decent performances but is that going to be enough for the Raptors or any other team to want to take a chance on him in a year's time do they want to give him that money to give him another shot in the NBA because the Raptors this season you know we had that first round pick coming in obviously the fourth overall pick that we are also excited about but there's also two second round picks coming in not to mention the Raptors have to do some work in free agency to fill out the rest of this roster with some really good players so is there a spot for Jalen Harris next season? I think that Jalen has done a really big disservice to himself because I felt like he would have been back with the Raptors this season, if not the 905. And I feel like this season would have improved his stock higher. You know, coming out of college after four years, you're one of the older players that, you know, some guys don't like to take a chance on you in the NBA if you're that old. And could will be coming back into the league as like a 24-year-old who only has a handful of NBA game experience. Does he have the role back with the Raptors. And in my opinion, I think that his Raptors career might be over here because again, we are going to be adding in so many new players. We are going to be adding in a lot of these young players, not to mention a lot of ones that we already have. I think that we are just going to move forward without him. And in a year's time, you know, we're not going to be preparing. This isn't a guy you go, okay, in a year's time, Jalen's coming back. We got to make room for him on the roster. This is kind of a train that's going to keep on rolling. And Jalen Harris, you know, maybe it wasn't his fault. Maybe it was. But he's basically jumped off the train. The train's just going to keep moving without him. And if he meets us a year later and he catches up to us, you know, it's up to the Raptors organization if they want to let him back on. At the bottom line of this is that Jalen Harris, I really hope that he does get the help that he needs, whatever this situation may be. You know, maybe it, he doesn't need any. Maybe it's just a mistake. Maybe he just he just made a mistake and he got caught. Whatever the situation is, I think Jalen Harris it needs to do a lot of work to get himself back on a professional NBA team, if not a G League team, for next season. Because the Raptors, this isn't a key player for you. This is a guy that you could absolutely live without. It's just a real damn shame that a player who had what I think quite a bit of potential, especially as the 59th overall pick, is going to have a year of development stumped from him, and that could possibly end his NBA career to see if anybody wants to get it back on the team. Regardless of what you think about these rules where players are banned for drug use, even though they are not performance enhancing, regardless of what you think about that, because you know I think we should be a little bit more lenient towards that, but I understand the situation. I understand that the rule is the rule here. This isn't just like weed here, where there is this three-strike policy. When you're using something as hard as something Jalen Harris was using. You know, there are certain things you have to pay attention to, like the image of the NBA, like the image of the team, you know, the way David Stern kind of turned around the league based on what it was in the 80s. So we're kind of at this point where it is what it is. This is the rule. The players know the rules. They know they can't be doing things like this. He just has to be smarter in this situation. I think it's, again, a bad look on the organization, the Raptors organization. For the second year in a row, a guy going into his second season has got into very hot water in the media definitely not going to look good on us and it's also annoying that we've signed these players and we probably committed a certain degree of the future to these players and the things the choices they make on a personal level have significantly affected those things so the Raptors gonna have to do some work to clean up the image I hope that the Raptors also do what they need to do to get him help I hope Jalen does what he needs to do to get himself help but as far as coming back to the league I see it as a distinct possibility because of the positive things that he did show on the court near the end of the season, specifically that 31 point game, I would brand it, you know, I would say I saw enough from that very small sample size to say that he has some very good high IQ basketball tendencies that would translate into making him a serviceable player.
valuable player in the NBA. Even though he's a 59th overall pick, I saw those things. I saw those tendencies, and I think I saw them consistently enough, albeit in the small sample size, to say that he could be a good NBA player. But a full year of development that he's not going to get, he's not going to be getting any younger. You could look at him maybe no longer as a prospect at this point. It's going to be very difficult for Jalen Harris to get back in the league, especially with the Raptors. He is going to have to work very hard and very diligently to provide himself any opportunity to get back with any of the systems in the league. It's a damn shame that something like this has happened to a very promising player, and I hope that this situation can be rectified. But, you know, as brutal as it is, and I gotta be honest, I don't think he's coming back to the Raptors after that year. So what do you guys make of this situation? What do you think of Jalen Harris getting banned from the NBA for a full year? I wanna hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. My apologies, last couple of videos, I haven't been active in the comments because I had been away, but I will get back onto the usual after today. So make sure you're in the comments letting me know. But that wraps up for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, be sure to hit that like button. If you did enjoy the video at any point, really goes a long way to helping us reach new viewers on our road to 5,000 subscribers with that YouTube algorithm. Also shows that you made it to the end of the video. Also check out our Twitch, twitch.tv slash amateur sports. We're watching a ton of NBA playoff games. We're going into the NBA finals. Come watch along with the amateur community. The link is down below. Hit the subscribe button right over here on a road to 5,000 subscribers. Again, you can help us get there by subscribing. Check out some other videos by the channel that you may enjoy. And always remember, at the end of the day, believe what I say. And if you disagree, that is okay. Enjoy the grind and we'll see you again next time for another video.